months and months of music, I'm going to talk about how you can play Energy by Drake. And, and there's this cool little lick if you wanted to follow at the beginning where you can play the open B string, and then fourth fret on the D string, and then fifth fret on the D string. So kind of open B, and then fourth on the D, and then fifth on the, on the D. So kind of following a B, F sharp G, open B, F sharp G. And if you wanted to, you could even kind of take a, a B bass, it's the open E string, and kind of add it into that open B string. You may want to try the hybrid picking, you can even try this finger style. But doing just the open E and the open B together, and then playing that F sharp G after that. So open E and open B at the same time, and then F sharp G, open E and B, F sharp G, open E and B, F sharp G. And through the song, we really only have one chord that kind of backs that lick up. It's an E minor chord. And normally you do this first finger on the A second, second finger on the D second. And if you strum all those together, all oh, the sad sounds of E minor. Now, you may also dig on adding in third finger on the B third, the pinky on the high E third. You kind of work with E minor seven. You want to jazz that up a little bit. It really sounds like just the regular E minor in the recording, but we could talk about some other E options. You could work with E power chords, kind of an E five, work with the open E and the A string, second fret. Or you may want to take the first finger and go to the A, on the 7th fret, 3rd finger on the D9 for an E5 power chord would be very cool if you just want to make it really heavy. Or you can work some other E minor options. You could do this as a bar on 7th fret, and I'm kind of going over the A string of the high string. 2nd finger to the B8, 3rd finger on the D9, pinky on the G9 would be another way to play E minor. Randomly, you could also lift off the pinky, make it an E minor 7. You could add in the pinky on the high E. 10 for an E minor 7. Or if you want to jazz this up even more, you could use an E minor 9. Doing first finger on the D fit, second finger on the A7, third finger over the G, B, and E. You can dig on that sound. It's a cool E minor chord to have in your vocabulary <laughs> either way. And there's a couple different strumming options you may want to think about. You could do just a down count idea, kind of E minor 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, make it really heavy. Or you could add in some muting and make that a little sneaky. I'm always doing a 3 plus 3 plus 2 idea if you dig on that. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, kind of accent something. Or you can use a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the E minor and just tried that a lot. Yeah, down, 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 Sixteenth note strum pattern, and what I mean by that is, if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one, two. And that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is, if you take the E minor and do a down for four. One, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you do it down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down.
through that hole. Right, it's a little bit faster than that in tempo, so it's when you kind of kick into that. Just thought that was a really cool strum pattern to kind of play around with in the tune too. Now, randomly, this song is in the key of E minor um, or G major, right? G major, E minor, kind of relative keys. If you're interested in some scales, actually, I've got a really, really cool uh, video on the pentatonic map, randomly. Um, for E minor, kind of working third on the low E, fifth on the low E, sliding to seven on the low E, and then going to five on the A, seven on the A, and then five on the D, seven on the D, and then you slide to nine on the D, and then you go to seven, nine on the G, then we go to eight on the B, ten on the B, and then you slide to twelve on the B, and then you go ten on the high E, and then twelve on the high E. So like I call it E minor pentatonic map. Playing E just if you want to add in the little low opening, and then G A B D E, and then G A B and then D E, and then G A B D E. So there's five notes: G's, A's, B's, and D's and E's. It can sound really good. And so you play the open E. Basics of how you could play energy by Drake. So good luck. <laughs> 